Warning, this content may be disturbing to some audiences. Subscribe. If you dare. 51. My only regret is not seeing Pink Floyd live while I have a chance. Life short, buy the tickets. Hey everybody, welcome to, an Ectost. People ask Reddit. Serious, to all the older folk, 50 plus, how short is life really? What are some of your biggest regrets? Number 1. Commenter. I turned 60 this year. Life goes by so fast, especially when you're raising kids. Sometimes you just have to stop and think of yourself here, in this moment because if you don't, it will be gone in a flash. Regrets? That I didn't believe in myself when I was younger. That I didn't push myself to be the best that I could be. I've had a good life, but I feel I've fallen short of what I could have been. I had a lot of self-worth issues growing up. My saving grace was my attendance at an alternative school 3,000 miles from home when I was a teenager. One of the principal themes of that place was cooperation and mutual effort to achieve a common goal. That taught me that I could contribute in a meaningful way and that my contribution has value. It's been a very long way from there to here and I shudder to think about who I'd be now without that experience, but looking backwards I can muster a measure of pride over who I've become. I still have self-worth issues, but I have a loving wife who encourages me and helps me see the good in myself, two great kids who are just setting off on their own paths and a stepson who I get along great with, and a job that is more like play than work. Person B. I dropped out of technology in the 70s because I graduated way too advanced for anything except getting a PhD and being an academic. After a decade cycling through the trades and travels and lifestyles, having fun kicking, I got smacked in the head in an industrial accident and lost my creativity, but amped my analytics. Unfortunately, by then I had fallen behind 80s technology and couldn't get a shot. So I had to start my own consultant business and work in claw while my kids were young and fun. By the time I had a career going in the 90s, they were into their friends. We never really cinched after that, and the brilliant career was all in the rearview mirror by then anyway. So no regret because PhD never interested me, and the only thing I dreamed back about were those fun 10 years of living and kicking, the rest was a work smear of 6 slash 10 s with no memorable events, and the kids turned out great anyway. So don't beat yourself up, have no regrets, make time for fun, shit happens and either do, or do not. There is no try. Person C. You're not the best you can be when you're younger because you don't know how. I'm 58, and when I look back, the worst time of my life was when I was in my early 20s. The best 10 years have been, well, the last 10. It isn't about children for me, because I don't have any. It's about knowing my priorities, my skills, knowing what I want and how to get there. Don't be afraid of aging. Number 2. Commenter. 55 here and each decade seems to go faster than the previous, which is scary. Regret not taking more risks, telling people I care for them before they're gone, but I'm happy with all I've done and look forward to the few fast decades ahead. Person B. It's not just me then. As a kid, having three hours to play was an eternity. Three days before a holiday didn't seem to ever end. Then you get older and three weeks vacation is over like that, and in no time at all you're on the downhill side of 50 and crap, this year is almost over and I still have not gotten used to the date being 2018. My regrets do differ however, I wish there were some risks I had not taken, would mean fewer scars and aches now. Person C. 51 here. He is right the years do seem to go by really fast. I do regret not taking more risks as well. Taking advantage of higher education and working harder to leave my kids something after I go. But like most Americans, I'll probably go broken in debt. Take chances kids, time goes by really fast. Number 3. Commenter. 57 here. The old adage is true that life speeds up as you age. Seasons and years fly by now. I've got three wonderful grown daughters but the 25 years I spent raising them are mostly a blur. As far as regrets, I wish I had taken more risks and not been held back by fear. I'm working on that now. The best part of being this age is that I don't give a shit what others think of me anymore. It's liberating. An important lesson I've learned is that we are put on this earth to give of ourselves and to love others and love well. Nothing else matters. Stay in the moment, be true to yourself, and love love love. Person B. I'm also 57. I would kill to get some of the years that I spent traveling while my kids were growing up. Enjoy what you have, while you have it, because the only rule of life is that it changes. Pass that. Live within your means, stuff doesn't make you happy. Being alone is better than being in a bad relationship, don't sweat the small stuff. Number 4. 
I am 56. My mom is 86. One of her favorite things to do with me when I visit every other week or so is to just sit on the couch and hold my hand. She strokes my hand with her strong fingers and it kind of hurts sometimes, but I never pull away. Sometimes, falls asleep. And when it's time for me to go, she kind of pulls me back and doesn't want me to go. I leave, never knowing if that's the last time she'll stroke my hand. I don't know what I'm going to do when she passes away. Her memory is fading, and there may be times in the future where she doesn't remember me, but I'll never forget that rainy Halloween when I was 8 years old, and she and I huddled under a blanket on the front porch. Waiting for tricks or treaters that never came, and eating all the craft caramels together. Number 5. Im 50. I didn't tell some of the people in my life that I loved them enough. Then they were gone, taken by accidents or murder. I have never once wished I told someone less that I loved them. Number 6. I will be 64 next month. That old Beatles song keeps rattling around in my head. There is more road behind me than in front of me, but it was well traveled. I've been happily married for 36 years, we have two sons, one of whom has been with a lovely woman for 10 years, and I wish I could become a grandma before I am too decrepit to enjoy it, but that's their business. Number 7. At 57. As the song says enjoy yourself, it's later than you think. Have experiences. Experience is worth more than money or things. Do unto others as you would have done to yourself. Platitudes. Sure. But the thing is. It's later than you think. Number 8. Commenter. 51. My only regret is not seeing Pink Floyd live while I have a chance. Life's short, buy the tickets. Enjoy it while you can. Four beautiful kids, three grandchildren. Life's grand. Person B. 51 also, and I feel for you, my friend. I saw him twice. Just magnificent. I regret not seeing you two until last year, and regrettably Bono's voice was a big disappointment. Person C. In my 60s, going to see Willie Nelson next month for precisely that reason. My heart breaks when I remember that I never saw Johnny Cash laugh. Person D. Wish I had gone to the concerts comma dot not been so judgmental about bands and music, I enjoy all the music of my youth now but couldn't appreciate it then. I've seen some recently but to have seen them in their prime. Would have rocked so hard. Person E. 56. My parents, who are still alive, still tell the story of when I was 15 and begged them to go the animals tour show. I told them I would do anything. I went. My first big show ever. It was stunning. Number 9. Not giving high school and my two semesters of college my best effort. What might have I become if I had worked harder on my studies? Life is good, but could I have been living a more fulfilling life if I had taken school seriously? Being so far away from my parents and busy with life when they were ill and dying. I wish I had been there with them in their final days slash months slash years. 63 years old FYI. Number 10. 58 here. Seems like it went by pretty fast. But I'm healthy and a survivor type because of the way I grew up. Foster homes, adoption agencies. Left home for the service at 17 and never went back. Finally went to school. I'm a consultant now and travel the world. No family. You know you're on your own on the earth when you don't bother filling out emergency contact info on forms. Biggest regret is I was never able to understand being loved and safe. Felt threatened. FN lived a feral life with ultimately nothing or nobody. Another regret is no sense of time or appreciation of the moment. Just waiting in fear and anger for the next effed up shit to happen. Was never disappointed. Missed a lot of happiness and never really lived up to my potential. Looking back I've had a great life though. It's never too late to learn and change. Just how shit goes. Could have been a lot worse. Number 11. 58 here. When our first child was born the nurse told us long days, short years. That phrase sticks with me even though our kids are now into their 20s. After a while the years all seem to blend together, memories of when I was in my teens and 20s are a lot clearer and it's easier to recall when certain events happened, but later years are harder to pinpoint. One reason is that I used to be so plugged into current music which is a great way to date events, not so much anymore. Biggest regret. When I graduated from college I took a path suggested by my father instead of following my passion. But life is good, wisdom well earned, and death inevitable. Number 12. I'm in my early 60s. Not sure how that happened so quickly, but happy that it did. We all have regrets, but mine are minor. Some of the usual if only statements. I wish I had traveled more when I was younger. I wish I hadn't spent money on items that weren't of real value, and had saved more instead. 
I'm trying not to have any regrets going forward because time is precious. I've learned to let go of toxic people and surround myself with friends who care about much more than themselves. We are involved in philanthropic efforts, of giving back, of being empathetic. As for my family, I end each conversation with my sons by telling them I love them and they say the same. I tell my mother how much I love her each time we talk. I tell my friends that they are loved, and they say the same. I'm fortunate to have remarried a man who loves me with his whole heart. My family regret is that my father died before I could tell him one of my sons has his dream job. But as my dad lay dying, I told him every visit how much he is loved. Don't ever pass up the opportunity to share your heart because then you'll have regrets that can never be resolved. Number 13. 60. My regret is that I did not quit drinking sooner. I had no idea how great life could be sober and I drank my way through decades, highly functional but still. Quitting wasn't easy, but it is the best thing I have done for my family and for myself. Now, nine years later, it is a breeze and life is pretty damn good. Number 14. I'm in my early 60s now and have some regrets. I regret the way I treated my first wife who is the mother of my children. She was a nice lady and I was a selfish prick who only thought of myself. I will go to my grave with this regret. Even though I had a decent life financially, I regret not going to school to be a physician or attorney. I was very good academically. I regret I didn't spend more time with my mother, who was a good mom and did the best she could. And the years really do fly by as you start getting older, and they are a blur. Seems my kids were playing t-ball and soccer yesterday, now they are damn near 40 years old. Number 15. My biggest regret is that I didn't save enough for my retirement. Even though being single and childless made it less complicated to go wherever my employer sent me for months or years at a time, I am now facing old age without a family. Number 16. 63 years old. My biggest regret is spending way too much time attempting to please other people and not putting myself first more often. People get used to you being a doormat and the one time that you dare to say no to someone you're accused of being selfish. Number 17. I was in the Navy when my children were growing up. During the Falklands War, I didn't see them much at all. After I left the Navy, I became very career focused. After I started my own business, a health insurance company, I began to travel a lot. It all seems to have gone very quickly, and that time that I thought I would catch up with my children, I never did. Now they have their own children. And while I cherish the time that I now get to spend with my grandchildren, I do regret the time that I never spent with my own children. Make sure to share your personal story in the comments below and have the opportunity to be featured in a future video. Also, if you like these topics don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button to continue seeing more content like this every day. See you next time.